My name is Lillian Sue. I'm a medical oncologist here at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center. I co-chaired this year's meeting with Rob Bristol, and I think we've had a very exciting meeting, great turnout, and I think most importantly, there is a significant crosstalk among the scientists and the researchers. We've also attracted external audience, and I think this is really allowing us to showcase our internal excellence and also see and highlight some of our external brilliance. I'm Rob Bristow, and at the debate will be Tak Mac, Phil Bedard, Kim Chi from Vancouver, and then also Marcus Butler. And the debate is really asking, is immunotherapy now ready for prime time? Will it in fact improve survival versus other molecular targeting strategies in cancer? And it's an interesting question. And I'm expecting it to be a very spirited debate. I don't know who's going to win just yet. I've told people to keep the violence down, but as moderator, I certainly want the tone to be heated and I want the debate to be right on point. I'm Madeline Lee, I'm one of the psychiatrists in the Psychosocial Oncology and Palliative Care Department. Um, Will personalized medicine improve the patient experience in the future? Um, so actually, I think we're doing that now. Princess Margaret's vision of uh, personalized medicine is broad, and it includes detecting, diagnosing, uh, treating, and supporting cancer patients. And in the realm of support, I think there's been a global movement towards collecting patient-reported outcome data to improve screening of physical symptoms and emotional distress. And I think through initiatives like the Distress, distress Assessment and Response Tool at Princess Margaret, or DART, uh, we're already doing that. My, my tagline for DART is, um, it doesn't get more personal than this. So I think another way that Princess Margaret very clearly um, recognizes the domain of support in cancer care um, is in today's uh, conference that we included an entire symposium on the topic of supportive care. And I have to say that when I opened that session, I dedicated it to Dr. Pam Catton, who we all lost just before Christmas, is a visionary leader in um, really radiation oncology. She established our survivorship center and her list of accomplishments and uh, awards and titles would have filled the whole symposium. But I really wanted to say that if it wasn't for her vision, we wouldn't have had a supportive care symposium this morning. And so it was important that I dedicated that symposium to her and I hope we did her proud. Uh, today's conference was fantastic. It was an excellent blend of clinical research and basic research that really address the basic problem of how do we target a therapy uh, for a specific cancer patient. So it's a nice combination of, uh, and breadth of technology and clinical application. Hi, I'm Stephanie Fan. I'm an occupational therapist attending the Personalizing Your Cancer um, Medicine Conference. I've been here for two days and it's been uh, a wonderful experience just broadening the horizon around um, advances in cancer care around um, various different topics like molecular imaging, um, immunology. Um, today's topics were around genomics and uh, the highlight was definitely around supportive care. Oftentimes we come to a conference friends and we expect the other topics but this year I was really um, amazed to see the focus on supportive care and it was also a tribute to our very own Dr. Pamela Catton um, so it was nice acknowledgement about all of the role that she has uh, brought to the work in the cancer survivorship program. So one of the great things about this conference is it really brings together the scientists with people like me who are in the clinic and so I think where this conference has really had an impact for me is to remind me that I really do need to reach out and speak to the scientists, maybe what I think is the right biomarker or the way I think clinical development should go really isn't the way a scientist would view it from the lab and we really need to take that into account when we're working with people and their cancers. I think the other interesting thing that I learned is that there are so many unknowns and it's great to hear that we're not the only people that don't have all of the answers and there's so much to be gained from learning more about tumors uh, and learning more about different mechanisms of progression so for example it never occurred to me that when one of my patients has to come 
law study, maybe it is really important for me to prove that it's not some other effect of immune therapy and not actually cancer progression. So I think there's so much that we can learn and it's certainly been helpful to be here today at the PMH conference. Uh, today was great. It was uh, great to see so many people show up despite the snowstorm and um, I guess it shows the level of support there is for such a, an important topic and um, being able to communicate with different people from the department and the uh, organization is, is really uh, putting a focus on personalized cancer medicine. So overall I think it's a fantastic conference and I look forward to the rest of the program.